Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your bro, hope you're doing well, and in this video I'm going to explain generics in C Sharp, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. If you wouldn't mind, please like, comment, and subscribe. One like equals one prayer for the YouTube algorithm. Uh, generics. Alright, let's get started. Generics. Anything that's generic is not specific to any particular data type. We can make something generic by adding a set of angle brackets, then T. We can make classes generic, methods, fields, whatever we want. This allows for greater code reusability for different data types. Let's say that we have three different types of arrays, an array of integers, doubles, and strings. Let's create those. Int array, I'll call this int array, equals, I don't know, one, two, three. The elements really aren't important. The data type is. Okay, then let's say we have an array of doubles. I will name this double array, and the elements are 1.0, 2.0, and 3.0. Then let's say that we have an array of strings. String array equals 1, 2, and 3. Okay, what if I would like to display the elements of each of these arrays? So we can use a method for that. Let's begin with a method to accept an array of integers. So let's add that here. Public, static, void, we're not returning anything. And let's say that this method is named display elements. So there is one parameter. If we're displaying an array of integers, well, that will be our parameter int array, and let's call this array. And then we'll need a for loop or for each loop to iterate over the elements of this array. Let's use a for each loop. For each int item in array, then we will write, preferably not write line, item, then maybe I'll add a space. Okay, let's call the display elements method that we just created, and then pass in our int array as an argument. And let's see what happens. Okay, we have the numbers 1, 2, 3. So what if we attempt to pass in our double array, display elements, then we will pass in our array of doubles. So we actually can't use this method for doubles. We can only use this for integers. Cannot convert from double to int. If I would like to display my array of doubles, well, I would need a completely different method that accepts an array of doubles as an argument. So I'm going to copy this current method that we have, change int to double, and change int to double here as well. And then we can call this version of our display elements method. And this will do the same thing. Actually, let me make one change. I'm just going to add a right line to the end of these. So basically, we have two methods that do the exact same thing. However, they accept a different data type as an argument. Let's add one more method for strings. Public static void display elements. The parameter is an array of strings for each string item in array. And then I can use the string version of display elements, but pass in our string array. So we have each of our three different types of arrays all displayed. So this is a lot of work. We have three methods that do basically the same thing. However, they accept different arguments. So what if we had one method that could accept basically any data type? Well, that's where generics come in. So let's take these first two methods and delete them. We will no longer need them. We're going to turn this method into a generic method. So after the method name, add a set of angle brackets, then add T. So really, you can put anything you want between these angle brackets. I like to say thing because I think it's funny. We're going to accept a thing as an argument. So we need to change that here as well. So change any instance of a data type to T or thing if you're using thing. Okay, so change string to thing. We're accepting an array of things for each thing item in array. So now we have one method that accepts all data types. We can reuse this one method for an array of integers, doubles, and strings. Yeah, and it appears to work. So that's where generics are helpful. 
Anything that's generic is not specific to a particular data type. We can add angle brackets T, or really anything within these angle brackets, just make sure that it's consistent. So we can add this to classes, methods, fields, etc. And this allows for greater code reusability for different data types. So instead of three different methods that all accept different data types, we have one that accepts basically all data types. So yeah, those are generics. If you found this video helpful, be sure to smash that like button, leave a random comment down below, and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro.